Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for all signs, so as always it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and can be for a few days or more that this lasts. So just bear that in mind. So what do we have for the day please? Message for the day for all signs. Oh nice, two cards. Butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful. We have number 11. And we have badger spirit number four. Be fearless and bold. So whatever this transformation is, it's an energy of the, the energy of being fearless and bold will be needed. What do we have for the day, please? message for the day thank you it's a yes could be the universe saying yes to you giving you some answered prayer the universe also works through people somebody could be saying yes to you you could be saying yes to somebody else let's see what that is about overarching energy first for the day please overarching energy first for the day you we have the knight oh the knight of knight of swords and the four of wands communications conversations going on that in this case affect either a relationship the home the family it could be celebratory energy that affects the home the family the relationship or a mixture of those or one of those it could be you and your own we have the eight of pentacles the Knight of Pentacles, wow. The Magician. Queen of Swords. The Moon. The Three of Wands. <laughs> and we have the Empress, yeah. Oh, this is lovely. So, you know, the Four of Wands, if it's you on your own as well, I mean, this can be an energy of milestone, a milestone, a significant milestone to celebrate or something to celebrate. It can represent some kind of successful energy here. Um, but again, can be you, your home, your family, your relationship, their celebration here. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords. I feel this is the news that you've been waiting for or hoping for. It's a yes. It's really beautiful energy. This is an energy of... This knight is bringing in some clarity that you need here. Feels that kind of energy. Uh, I feel that you have been unclear about how something was going to unfold here. You might have been waiting for an answer. And it feels for some of you, you're getting the answer. And for some of you, it's a, it's a yes. <laughs> really, really beautiful energy. This is a communication that brings change. Happy change, I feel. We have Queen of Swords energy and the Eight of Pentacles. So Queen of Swords is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, male or female, or the energy of the card, again, can be communication. I don't know whether this is just a supportive energy or encouragement or staying focused on the vision that you have in front of you. This is what I'm working towards. Very balanced, very clear, very intellectual, very... So this is a mixture of hard work and intellect. Uh, somebody who has... who can rise above the doing energy and be very clear about what they're working towards and also do the work to fulfill that vision. I feel that's the energy here. I mean, yes, this can be a bit of a communication energy as well. This, this, this eight of pentacles is hard work. Somebody who's working hard, 
uh, and wanting to get recognition. Again, this feeling of, of wanting to bring material gain, working hard towards something, putting your heart and soul towards something that you have your eyes set on, a clear vision towards is what I'm getting the most here. This is what I really want and I'm going to really work hard to get it. You know, for some of you, it, it could be... This is an energy of working with the end goal in, in, in sight, I feel. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Moon energy. So, again, the Knight of Pentacles can be somebody making you an offer you making somebody an offer the this can be in terms of jobs money career business opportunities it's an abundant change this is an abundant change feeling the change of being on real solid ground uh, this can also be about for some of you it might well be to do with a sum of money coming your way If you're waiting on a decision, you've been working really hard, for example, and you've been waiting on some kind of sum of money coming your way, it could be in the form of a bonus or a pay rise or getting recognised, could be within the company that you have been working on. You know, it might well be getting that next level up. Again, it could be a number of things. It's, it's the thing that you want. But I feel in this energy, there's a lack of clarity in whether it's going to come off right now. The moon energy is uncertainty, doubt. And, you know, we sometimes get the moon energy when we really want something. You know, when you really want something, I don't really know what the decision is going to be. I don't really know. I've done everything that I can here. I've worked really hard. I don't know whether I'm going to get the money, the recognition, the bonus the title change, I mean, call it what you will. We have the Magician and the Three of Wands. So what you've been manifesting, what you have been putting, taking action towards here, what you have you had your heart set on, the vision that you have or the goal that you've been working towards, this is an energy of, I feel really good about this. It feels really positive. I'm just waiting on the final say-so. I'm waiting on the final feedback. I'm waiting on the final answer here. Um, it, it feels there's real potential here feels you know that it's going to come off but I'm just wait I just feel that this is an energy of I'm wait I'm just hopeful but I'm waiting I'm just waiting to see if it's going to come off if those ships are going to come in from what I've been manifesting here and again this is a transformation energy this is having a very clear goal on what you're working towards what you want to manifest and making it happen that's the magician energy but I feel this is an energy of somebody who's taking steps towards making it happen and they're just waiting to see that final thing, is it going to come off? The, the Empress is a really positive message. I mean, you might be dealing with a female or an empowered female in business. Again, the Empress can be an energy of the birth of something new. Um, or next level, she's very abundant. So very good in terms of money, career, finances. I, I feel in this energy, it feels really hopeful and positive that someone's going to get the feedback they've been wanting. Could be from a person. Like I said, it could also be in terms of the birth of something new or next level in business. Because for some of you, this is the energy of, of getting the news and celebrating. Yeah. It just feels really beautiful. And again, I mean, you can apply this to whatever life area, but it, it, with the pentacles energy, it does tie in quite well with money, career, finances. But I, I feel in this energy, this is, this is an abundant energy. Feels very materially led. 
And there's an energy of transformation is beautiful. Be fearless and bold. This is somebody who works hard to shape their future. And this is the energy of, <clears throat> I'm going to get, I'm going to reap the reward of my effort. It feels hopeful that it's going to come off. For some of you, you know, this could also be a client. You know, if you're wanting to win a client or you're wanting to win new business. This feels really beautiful as well. It'll be different things to different people. With the message being the same. Okay. Final message for the day. Yeah. Life energy. So this, oh, interesting. Look. We've got the sunshine which brings light and we've got light card. So this is an energy of you're going to get the answer that you need. Light is going to be brought to the situation. It feels really positive. We have life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings, brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Yeah, this is, this is happy, positive light being brought to a situation. And we have light. The, queen, the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Yeah, this is an energy of somebody's in the dark right now, but you're going to get the answer, the feedback that you've been wanting. Yeah, I feel someone's waiting for feedback or waiting for an answer. Justin, it's going to bring transformation and this fearless and bold energy is the energy of <clears throat> no this is what I deserve and not being meek or mild about it not being aggressive either but just being very fairly saying from a grounded point of view this is something that I deserve yeah I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.